you came to the crib, Phil's crib, where he shares his opinions on random topics. And now, here's your host, Phil. In this edition of Phil's Crib, we're going to talk about Miss Kenya Moore. Now, Miss Kenya Moore, most of you may know her, of those of you who do not know Kenya Moore. She has been around a very long time. Um, she won a Miss America pageant one point in time in her life. Now you see her on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, Kenya has been around for a long time. Um, you know, Kenya has gotten plenty of places because of her looks and of course, whatever she done in her career to work as well, it's not just she looks, but you know, Kenya had an issue that recently happened and she was dating a man that she had met and I read up on it but Kenya decides to go after black men as a whole because of what happened to her with this guy now she was dating a guy and this guy was on the show millionaire matchmaker I put up the picture of the guy and the lady is with him I'm going to touch on that so the lady his wife right there that you're looking at her name is Jamie Gregory. Now, Jamie Gregory spoke out about this because the man had a relationship with Kenya, but he said it didn't work out. He left Kenya to be with the lady that you're looking at. She's his wife now. Now, so Kenya goes out and she's just saying some crap. And you know, Vivica Fox don't like her. So she even got involved taking some jabs at Kenya. But the wife, Jamie Gregory, told Radar Online that James was on Millionaire Matchmaker in September 2014 and she met him in December. He said, we met on Match.com three months later. We were engaged then on Good Friday, April 3rd, 2015. We got married. We just knew right away that we were in love. Um, she go on to say that he went on two or three dates after the show aired with Kenya because uh, Kenya was on Millionaire Matchmaker as well. He said he told me he just kissed and nothing else. He said just wasn't the right person uh, for him, but he wished her the best. Then he, she said two weeks ago, Kenya wrote to him saying they should celebrate since their ratings were so high. But he told her that he had met someone and fell in love, so it wasn't appropriate for him to talk to with her anymore. So Kenya wrote to the man and told him that he hurt her brand. Of course, he didn't respond to her. But a little more than a week ago, she reached out again and told him she needed a favor. When he asked what it was, she told him she needs to talk to him in person. He didn't want to do that, so he didn't respond. And the wife continues to say it doesn't feel good to be put in this position. James is very clear with his boundaries. She wasn't respecting him. This was obviously a publicity stunt. I know it was. Now, we know Ken Kenya Moore's history. As we see that Kenya has a crazy side. We've seen this. We never knew this until she started exposing herself on reality TV. But she's mad. She's upset because this guy didn't want her. Fine. It happens, right? Now, Kenya talked to Hello Beautiful, okay, about her dating life. And this is what she decided to say. For black women, we just have to be open because there's not a lot of eligible bastards that are black. For us to choose from anyone, if you take away the ones that are gay in jail, this is a real issue. Statistics show why we don't have the choices. You take the ones that are gay in jail, don't have a job, the ones that are already married, the ones that are dating and marrying outside of our race, what do you have left? You don't have much to choose from. The nicest thing is that you have options. Now, let's talk about Kenya Moore. You know, there as guys, you'll see a woman who's attractive and she says she's single and you're like, why is she single? Look at her. That's how we act as guys. Why would any guy pass her up? You know? So then you get to know this woman and then you notice character flaws. She could be uh, wanting to know how much money you're making constantly. She wanted, let's say if you do have a decent car that got her attention. She wants to possibly be materialistic. Maybe she has an attitude. Maybe she's crazy. Maybe she's way too emotional than, than normal. It could be a whole lot of things. She could be too clingy or whatever. Obviously, if an attractive woman like Kenya Moore can't get a man, 
You don't blame all black men. You need to look at yourself. You are the problem. It ain't the men. And it's funny how the women like that will attack gay people. But yeah, gay people are their friends. They got gay best friends and uh, they all uh, chummy with a gay dude. Okay. But when you're upset about stuff, you want to say all oh, the ones that are gay. Like, and, and we got to keep it real. In the black community, we do throw gay a lot out as an insult. And she talking about the you know ones in jail and all this other stuff. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody gay in jail and all this other stuff. Because black men can say the same thing. But they got black women that are gay, black women that are in jail, uh, you know, black women who are dating people outside of the race and all kind of other stuff. Black men can say the same thing. But why is it you don't hear black men saying that? Why black men aren't complaining? Black men don't have a problem getting a woman. He really don't. It can, and it has nothing to do with looks. I'm sorry. I just feel black men can get a woman if that's what he wants to do. You don't hear him complaining. Sometimes some people like Kenya Moore, and I'm talking about Kenya Moore, not nobody else, because you have a lot of character flaws that you refuse to deal with, then you're by yourself. You never know. There could have been probably so many black men came her way, but she turned them down because he wasn't 6'2 or 6'5. He didn't drive a flashy car. Not say the guy didn't work or ever like that, but she want maybe this guy that looks a certain way and everything's about a look, a look, a look. But at the end of the day, looks gonna fade. You can be rich one day and be broke tomorrow. What you have with a person is do they love you? Uh, are they faithful? Um, are they loyal? You know, will they be with you when you're sick? When they be with you when you're down? Uh, you know, all kind of things that's just really important in a relationship. And it seems like Kenya and people like Kenya who are superficial and, and you know, have attitude or possibly crazy or whatever, then they want to blame everybody else except yourself. No, Kenya, you need to look within yourself and figure out what's wrong with you. Black men have nothing to do with you and how you act crazy, how you act clingy, and all this other stuff, that how you acting. Because how you act on national TV, no right man in his mind would really want to take you serious like that. Sure, they'll take you out, they'll lay down with you and have sex, and that's about it. But as of say, okay, I'm gonna wife Kenya more, it's just not gonna happen, sweetheart, because you just a little too crazy and unstable, at least from what I've seen on TV. Now, if you put on the act on TV, that's one thing, but this dude that you wanted to be with, obviously did not wanna be with you. And you gotta think about it. I guess that dude hurt her feelings, got to hurt her feelings, because I was former Miss America and this guy left former Miss America for that chick. And this chick does not look nowhere near better than Kenya, but this chick may be a better person. She may have so many qualities that you can't turn down that make her look better than Kenya at the end of the day. And that's what some women need to get out of their head. Stop trying to attack a man every time to say, you know, he has to be a certain height. Okay, so if a dude is five foot seven, but he'd be the most loving dude in the world, you're gonna turn him down? See, that's the problem with some of these women, you know? And, and they got some men like that too. You want you want a chick with this kind of body and all this other stuff, you know, you gotta figure out what's important first, and then all the other stuff, you know, you get later. Because at the end of the day, all that outside stuff y'all paying attention to, that come and goes, trust me. But at the end, it's about what's inside of a person. And I'm telling you, that's the only thing that counts, what's inside of a person. So, and the thing is, Kenya, she's not going to look like that forever. She's definitely getting older. Even though she's keeping up with surgeries, she, she's still getting older. And if she still keep up with her attitude and her ways, she's not going to have nobody. And that's just it. Or anybody that act like that, you're not gonna have nobody. But to sit here and attack men, I tell this to even to even brothers. Don't be attacking black women because you can't get one. I'll see there's something wrong with you why you can't get one. Oh, you know, it's like people want to attack everybody else instead of attacking themselves and figure out what's wrong with them. You know, you got all these people saying something wrong with you or you acting crazy or whatever, but something's wrong with everybody else, but nothing is wrong with you. See, this woman is in denial about her behavior and about her choices in men. Because if she would have known better, she would have known, say, well, you know what? I need a guy who's completely not attached to anything. But, you know, she has that attitude like some women. Well, 
I have a certain lifestyle and a man has to have a certain lifestyle like I have. And that's what makes you extremely superficial. Because one thing about men, we just like you to treat us nice and look good. I like to say you could be the local waitress at uh, TGI Fridays or something. If we think you nice and look good, we're actually out on a date. That's simple. We don't care about, well, let's see if she, you know, she got to have, you know, a million dollars in her bank account because I got at least a million. No, no, no. It's not the way we act. And when you focus on money and all this other stuff, which can come and go at any given time, you're going to get stuck out like this. That is the problem. Now, I know some women going to make it into a racial issue. But for me, some things are racial. You know, I talk about racial issues, but then some things are just you as a person versus another person. And if a person don't want you, why are you mad? Let them go. Like, okay, go by your business. Because obviously, you're not for me. I need to wait to somebody that really want me and want to be with me and love me and treat me right and respect me. And, uh, you know, can't wait to see me come home at the end of the day. Cause, you know, when I'm working hard or whatever. I'm like, I'm not going to beg nobody to be with me like that. I'm sure not going to attack a bunch of people that ain't got nothing to do with it. I mean, come on. But... You know, she need to get her act right and figure out what's wrong with her instead of being pissed off at black men. You know, because obviously if you act the way you act with men, like you act on that television show. I understand why you're by yourself. Leave me your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe to this channel where we also feature so disrespectful YouTube comments and advice show radio. One news that isn't politically correct or influenced by corporate agenda. Subscribe to the Advice Show TV, where we present media with a common sense approach. Looking for something funny to get you through the day? Subscribe to Ratchet Video Weekly. Thank you for listening and see you next time.